everybody just, again, wants the tools to figure out how to get their story out into the world. And they come at it from a lot of different angles. You know, there was an actor who wants to produce. There was a producer who's had three movies that she was trying to figure out distribution. Like, everybody has something. And, and hopefully, I've been through enough things that I can, I can help uh, steer them in the right direction, give them a little piece of advice or thought that might trigger something else. Um, it's exciting, though. It's exciting to see all the energy and all the creativity that's just everywhere. And I teach. I teach at USC, so um, I'm 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 excited by the the mentor mentee relationship. Um, my my past mentee is now my producing partner. I love young people. I love being in the in the spirit of the beginner's mind and what's possible and. I've had a lot of success with that. So for me, it's a, you know, I'm there to give, but I get as much as I give. Change is interesting because it's cyclical. Um, I don't think the questions have changed at all. I think what's changed is the, the environment, the, the platforms, the ways in which television is being made and how to get in the door of television and um, the independent world and, 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 and the idea that if you go to a streaming platform like Netflix with, a, with, a, with an independent movie, a movie that maybe it's harder to make somewhere else and Netflix sees the opportunity, that movie ends up in 40 different languages all over the world. You know, it's just, I, I, it's like the Wild West. It's so exciting um, to be uh, productive in a time when the, the possibilities are um, kind of endless in terms of where you can place content. Um, so I'm really excited. I am not, I love film. I've, I've shot on film. I, I love the experience, but the idea that the sort of digital revolution has democratized things and allowed voices to come to the fore that were just knocking on the door before. It's just incredibly exciting. Well, first of all, we always knew it was a TV show. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. It's an ensemble show. The characters in the movie were, I would like to say, more archetypal. Than, than fully dimensionalized. And so the television show has allowed us to really bring those characters to life in a very three-dimensional way and, and slows it all down so that you can get inside, you know, all the different. And Justin had such a beautiful vision of it in terms of really focusing on one character per episode and, and seeing things from different points of view. Like, I think that's really what the show is about, is seeing different points of view, hearing how people think that may not think like you, and figuring out a way to live together, you know? Um, so it's been very, very exciting, this, the transition from film to television. I've been really um, knocking at that door myself for a long time. So as, as the first show, I'm so proud of it because I think it sort of stands for so much of what I've been doing my entire career. Well, Justin likes to call it a five hour movie. Right. So we do look at it as a, as a, a whole piece, the whole season. And because it's streaming, it's meant to be binged. It's meant to be watched in one setting. So that creates just just really an extension of what of what we do as as filmmakers. Um, so uh, that that's been interesting. I'm I'm really excited to to make a show that is appointment TV because. There's nothing like like every week anticipating what's going to happen next and then finally getting there and then discussing that and chewing on that until the next week. And it's just a different, it, 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 not, nothing's good or bad. It's just a different way of, of telling a story. Well, you know, I don't know if you're a fan, but I just, I, I there's so much television, it's just hard to keep up. But this year, I binged the entire series of The Americans. And until I caught up with the season, then I was back on appointment. And it was just fun. It was just exciting. And, and, and since everybody tapes everything, I was just trying to find somebody who had seen it the night it, it aired so I could discuss it. But that's culture. 
that's bringing people together. That is the water cooler moment that, that we have. We create content. It's been this way since the caveman time. So we create content to tell stories to bring us together. And uh, I don't think we're ever going to stop doing that.